ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more GTA 5 Online. And in this video, I have I will be doing sort of a review on a new flying bike that I bought because it was on sale at a certain time. It is the a Pegasi Oppressor. I'm not high enough level to equip the missiles on it, but I do have machine gun on it. Unfortunately, it was just destroyed, so without further ado, I'm going to go get that back. Well, not destroyed, impounded, so we actually have to drive there and do that. We're going to be doing a series of tests to show you all the things that it's good at. And if those will consist of... Killing people, getting away from the cops, going fast, and how well it flies. Chances are I'll forget by the time I start doing it, everything I just said. But I'll try and cover all those four things, so uh, let's get let's get on with it. Yeah, I remember this area. It it looks familiar. I want I wonder what's over here. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be Grove Street? I'm really not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But it's impounded, and my vehicle appears to be over there. Now I could start a ton of trouble. And steal it back, or I could literally pay two hundred and fifty dollars. Not thousand, just fifty dollars. That's what I'm gonna do. So now that we have my vehicle, it appears to be someone else's vehicle right over there. Which well, chances are, if I am correct. That is not his actual vehicle, it is one that he stole. So I think I'm going to throw a sticky on that. Okay, let's see how good at killing people this thing is. So if they're kind of like more or less in a standstill, it is fairly easy. But let's try and fly out of here now. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Look how awesome that is. That's amazing. So it's easy at killing people if they're more of a standstill. It's hard to aim because you gotta aim with your joystick. Press X to open or close the flaps. It won't fly if the flaps aren't open. Just remember that. It's also pretty fast and. For you to actually be able to fly, you gotta hit the boost. You can boost while just driving too, and you go really fast, or you can boost and, well, you could fly. But it doesn't recharge in the air, so if you even skim the ground, it'll refill the boost completely. And just kinda glide. The other oppressor, however, allows you to fly all the time, but you can't drive. But this is kinda more fun, in my opinion. And I think that one comes with missiles straight off the bat. So it's good at killing people. I'd say it's good at flying. Let's see, actually, let's see how good at flying it is. Go right there. That's just, that's elegance right there. And you have unlimited ammo as well. So it could be good for causing havoc, like I said earlier. But if you just want to chill around a bit. And be like, nah, I ain't about that killing everyone in sight life. Then you can fly it. So, okay, I would say it's great at flying, it's great at shooting, speed on the ground, only if you use the boost, so I guess that kind of counts, right? But what was the fourth test that I wanted to do? What was the fourth test I was attempting? 
to do. We did flying, we did driving, we did shooting. I'm really at a loss right now. How quick is it from escaping the cops compared to a regular car? I'm gonna get in a regular car right now and time how long it takes to escape and how long it takes to escape with this bad boy. And you tell me if it's worth two point seven five million dollars? Yeah. You guys are gonna tell me. I mean, if you want, right? So let me this is going to be uncut this part. So let me start the timer. Timer starts right when I get in a car, so uh, let me uh, let me find one of those. I think we're actually going to compare this to a bike, considering it is a bike, but no, we shouldn't because it's a fast bike. It's just a little different. Let's compare it to an SUV, because that's comparable. And the time starts... All right, that starts. Now. The timer has started. Let's get out of here. We're not allowed to shoot in either one. So let's try and get away, shall we? Someone in a plane up there. Alright. Trying to escape. If I were to, you know, actually try. This is not going so well. So far. The trunk opens on this thing? That's pretty cool. Getting away. With ease? Slightly. We're right by the Los Santos Customs. Who would have thought? I think we've almost escaped them by now. Okay. Now let's see how it works with a flying bike, which is slightly faster and, in my opinion, better in every single way. No, I did not pay for the car. By buying shark cards, I actually sold a bunch of my cars and grinded out 700 grand of my own money. I still have a bunch of cars, though, so if you want to see that in a live stream or something, you know, showing you guys all my cars, I will do that. So I have now gotten in my flying bike, so now we're going to compare the times, 1 minute and 5 seconds, and compare it to how long in, well, the bike. So let's get on with it. Gotta get the cops near us first, because it wouldn't be fair otherwise. See, that's a problem with having a bike right there. So let's retract our wings. Let's start. And go in. Well, that's a nice little house right there. Woohoo, it's a mansion. And like I said, I would say that's pretty, pretty quick, if I do say so myself. Wow. Alright. That was a fairly fast time.
So there is a comparison, and that was two stars. So I would say this bike, like, who? Ah, this bike, man, it's pretty darn good. I would say it's great at driving. It's great at flying. It's a great from it's great from escaping the cops, and it's pretty decent at killing people. And if you're if you've done enough missions or leveled up, however you unlock those missiles, and you have the missiles, then like, be my guest. It's even better. So yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video on the crew too. I will try and get more GTA videos out, I promise. But until then, peace.